Hi. <laughs> and um, uh, this is Maria Trushkova. We are recording a conversation for for the problem solving course. We are talking with Christian. So uh, um, you, you said you, you homeschooled, right? Yes, that's right. I have. Um, so I just completed my first year of homeschooling. A six-year-old, he just turned six, and I have a, I guess, a preschooler, three-year-old, but she's not doing any school at the moment. Right. So, um, I, I'll ask you the question that greatly interests me, so I'm asking everybody. What do you dream about when it comes to mathematics and your kids? You know, I would really like for them to have a more creative approach in seeing math in the environment. So just seeing it in um, nature, in patterns, uh, just everywhere so that it becomes more natural to them rather than just sitting down to worksheets and knowing it's a subject that's exclusive to everything else. I, I, don't, I don't want it to be that like that. I want it to be something that's integrated with their life things you say two main things creative and integrated with the environment with the nature with the light and I am going to ask you about both of them so how would creative math look like for you you know that that is a big struggle for me because math for me has been always about textbooks and numbers not until recently when I started reading about blogs within the homeschool environment that I, I didn't even realize, you know, patterns were considered math. I didn't know about the Fibonacci sequence in flowers, in, in cauliflowers, in all those kind of things, and it's really fascinating. So for me to be creative with the kids, I'm really struck. I mean, dumbstruck by that. I don't know where to start. So you yourself started by reading blogs and seeing how uh, other parents homeschool. It's an excellent way to start in my mind, too. And you, you mentioned the Fibonacci in nature, so the, the flowers. Mm -hmm. Is it beautiful to you? Is, do you think it that is it's creative? So beautiful, so amazing. And the fact that it's the same pattern in so many different things in nature, I'm just dumbfounded. I can't believe it. I mean, I still am astounded by it and still amazed by it. So, uh, you uh, are finding these things. You are discovering these things for yourself for the first time, the patterns, the connections, right? Yes, yes. I can hear your excitement now. <laughs> this is so, it's beautiful to me. I mean, uh, just to hear this discovery. So. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. So you you want to share with your kids, right? When when you discover something like that. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, looks like you you have all the chances in the world. You have two kids; they are just starting the journey, right? So you can mm -hmm. go with them. You can discover mm -hmm. with them. Uh, how have it been so far? Have you tried some of those pattern things with them? Ah, uh, you know, not really, just because I feel I'm out of my depth. You know, when I tried to, when I first saw the Fibonacci sequence in a cauliflower, I tried to pull it out and find the pattern myself, and it was difficult. And I feel like if I'm confused and struggling with it, and if I presented it to them, it it might come off as negative or, I don't know, I'm, I'm just afraid to share things that I'm not yet certain about. I'm not confident teaching it, I guess. So, so um, th uh, this, is, this is something that kind of stops you from doing things with the kids. You are just exploring by yourself. You are looking at things online, but uh, mm -hmm. you'd like to uh, be more certain. There, there was a big argument. It's interesting that you mentioned Fibonacci patterns and not being certain about them. There is a big argument going on right now on the mass blogs whether this whole thing even exists. Because, oh. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> because uh, 
because uh, sometimes, and I've done this exercise, I've done exactly what you're talking about and came to the same conclusion because sometimes you just don't see that pattern at uh -huh. all. Uh -huh. You start counting, it's not there. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, so I don't feel so terrible now. <laughs> so, uh, what you have discovered when you did it is that the pattern is not there, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it is. So people mm -hmm. show, the, you know, these beautiful movies and all, and sometimes it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, some mathematicians say it's just a coincidence when it appears in some cases. Mm. I mean, in some of the flowers, it just may happen so that the numbers start like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so, um, we, we, uh, what... How can you? How can we do things with the kids when we are not sure, or can we, at all? Hmm. You know, with I guess with the technology now, it's quite easy to show them on YouTube or other other video clips of other kids or parents or teachers showing lessons, but. I still feel like if it was myself, I'm not sure how I would do it. So, for example, right now, the only math that we do is pretty much textbook-based, worksheet-based, and occasionally we'll play dominoes or simple card games. But that's probably as creative as I get. Mm -hmm. Do you like to play games? I do, but when I feel like um, that we have to learn a math concept through the game, it does get a little bit stressful. But if I was to play the game for the game's sake, I think the kid would probably enjoy it more. <laughs> okay. What, what do they like? What, what do your kids like? Just for okay. its own sake. So the boy, the older boy, he's very creative. He likes to make things out of scrap. So he'll go around, make catapults, um, make instruments. He'll build buildings for his Lego toys. Um, a lot of creative play. Mm -hmm. Do you consider that math at all? Do I see math in those play? Well, in what what things you you just say? Oh, do I consider those math? Yeah. Um, I'm sure somebody else could see that as math, but I can't see it as math. Right. Um. This is. I mean, th th this is exactly as you say, Christian, because. I mean, you can see, ma I mean, someone can find, uh, maybe mathematicians, I don't know, they can find the math series behind things. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's more like uh, for each person, do you discover it or not, that counts, mm -hmm. or the kids. Yeah. S so this is a challenge, but you'd like to, right? That's what you're saying. Yes. So... Um, we will try this here, and this is a very, this is a great case because you are at the, you are starting to discover some of the things you dream about, the mm -hmm. beauty and uh, the connections to nature, this uh, creativity in math. So just for this course, I'd like to play and be creative and play games for their own sake. Mm -hmm. So if you start playing, well, have some things your son can make, for example. So we'll have some things. Um, if it happens that you don't see mathematics in it, but it's still interesting, you see your kid interested, it's mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what uh, I'd like to see for that study, we are doing a study, right? Mm -hmm. Is um, maybe kind of follow the kids so if they are playing with something and they are engaged just document what they do or uh, take note and maybe other people in the course can seek mathematics with you that'd be great mm -hmm. does it make sense yes it does that would really help mm -hmm. because uh, it helps to it, it helps we do it all the time with, with colleagues, actually. We look at something the kids do and kind of um, scratch our heads and say, well, what was that about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is, there, is there a math in it? Can we take it somewhere mm -hmm. next? Can we, 
can we claim it was mathematics <laughs> mm -hmm. already? Um, so things like Lego, for example, uh, typically you can find a lot of math there. Okay. Typically, mm -hmm. but, or at least some people. And so uh, I I you, I chat with friends about Legos in particular because it, there is a lot of game. So let's try this. So uh, we'll we'll do this. Does it make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, just uh, playing, just trying to explore, being very open and expecting the unexpected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the younger one? What, what does the younger one like? Uh, what does she like? She is more into pretend play. Mm -hmm. So a lot of dollies, dressing them up, putting mm -hmm. them to bed, feeding them, putting them in time out. Um, what else she does? She does. She likes a lot of drawing, painting. She'll also play Lego. Mm -hmm. uh, and she likes dancing and music. Excellent. Um, so um, actually, some of these uh, problems uh, have pretend play elements. So you can try to play with her. Okay, great. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to change uh, the ideas from um, well from uh, the topic they had, we had some characters, so uh, make them about characters she likes, uh -huh. please. <laughs> Something like that. Mm -hmm. Do you like pretend play? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I play with them and it's fun, so yes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it's fun, I know. I, I remember when, when my kid was into that young mm -hmm. pretend play, I enjoyed it greatly. Yeah. Um, it changes with, with time. I mean, when they get older, they still pretend play, but differently, right? Mm -hmm. So, but this from about two to, to six, right? That's, that's just the peak of it. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, so um, these were my questions about the dreams, and you have beautiful dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing. I hope, it's my hope for, for this course to help people with their dreams, to help yeah. people to, to mm -hmm. go there, to, to get closer to the dreams. Yeah. Um, so, uh, while we're here and speaking in voice, uh, do, do you have questions or something you'd like to say, uh, anything? Yeah, I'm just curious because you asked about the younger one. I just assumed she would just, I guess, not even really be participating at that age. Because with her, I mean, what kind of math concepts are we even looking at? Hmm. Well, uh, this is something that surprises a lot of people. But you know how young kids uh, listen to music way before they can play themselves any instruments? Mm -hmm. Or even simpler, you know how a baby understands a lot of speech even before talking, right? Yes. So, I mean, they understand language so much. They can't show it sometimes, but they can interact with it. So it's the same with mathematics. Uh, little kids can do a whole lot of mathematics. It's uh, They express things differently. They can't, for example, a three-year-old can pretend play kind of hide and seek, like there were a dolly and two teddy bears, and then somebody's hiding, and mm -hmm. now we only see a dolly. So mm -hmm. who's hiding? So, oh, okay. so the kid knows that the bears might, might, must be hiding, right? The mm -hmm. So this is kind of like an equation with unknowns. Mm. Kind of. <laughs> 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 so you can do tricks like that with a lot of mathematics and yeah so our hope is to play with little kids too with babies with toddlers uh -huh. oh that's great does it make sense yes yes it's <laughs> funny how you could play a game and find a unknown in algebra <laughs> in a hide and seek game <laughs> Uh -huh. Right, so try and see how it happens. Just uh, have fun. Uh, 
however much or little you do, it's all good exposure, right? Yes, definitely. Okay. Um, so, um, do you do you have uh, any questions or concerns about the course? Anything else? No, I don't think so. I think I'll just understand more as we go along, and if I had questions, I'd just ask. Okay. Yeah, I think, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, anytime you, you want to ask me something, you know, my Skype and um, my email, mm -hmm. and you can, if you would like to get answers from everybody, you can post on the forum for the course that I just sent instructions about. So mm -hmm. uh, you can do it any time. There are good people in the course, you know, homeschoolers, club leaders. So people will help definitely. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, I am really looking forward to uh, sharing some adventures with you, learning how how it goes for you. Yes, I'm. I'm very looking forward to um, learning more. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maria.